Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to be reviewing a product that I was so excited to get my hands on, which is the Ordinary's Alpha Button 2% Plus HA. This product was not available in Australia for the longest time because the Alpha Button was not approved for use in Australia at that point. But now it is, and I was able to get this off Adore Beauty, which I will leave a link to below. I'm assuming you can get it on The Ordinary's website now as well, so I'll leave all the links below. I used this on my skin for 30 days, and whilst it might take longer for my skin to see a result, I tend to think that that's a really good control just to use everything for 30 days because it takes 30 days for your cells to turn over on average. So if we go online to The Ordinary's website, we can see that they market this as a brightening serum for uneven skin tone as well as dryness. They say it's suited to all skin types and it's a water-based serum. So the key ingredients in this product are obviously alpha albutin and hydrolyzed sodium hyaluronate. If we go through the ingredients list, we have alpha albutin as our second ingredient. Alpha albutin can lead to skin depigmentation because it prevents the synthesis of melanin, which is what gives our skin color. It's not actually killing the melanin producing cells, it's just stopping tyrosinase, which is the enzyme that is important to produce melanin in those cells. The fourth ingredient is hydrolyzed sodium hyaluronate, which is basically hyaluronic acid. However, it has a smaller molecular weight than hyaluronic acid, so it's supposed to be able to get deeper into your skin, which means it might have a greater hydrating effect than hyaluronic acid alone. The Ordinary says that they include this form of hyaluronic acid to help the alpha albutin to absorb deeper into the skin. We also have lactic acid in this product, which I think is really interesting. It is towards the end of the ingredients list, but lactic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid, which means it has great exfoliating properties but also moisturizing properties. The other ingredients are kind of surfactants and emollients which are quite common in skincare and there's a couple of preservatives at the end of the list which act as a stabilizer since alpha button can be quite unstable in skincare products. And whilst there is no fragrance I think that these preservatives can be a little bit irritating so make sure that you patch test first. Since this product is water-based you can layer it by using this first after cleansing and then putting heavier serums, oils, and moisturizers on top. The Ordinary also recommends using a sunscreen in the morning, which I know that we all do anyway. But that's because alpha albutin has been shown to increase skin sensitivity to the sun since it is brightening the skin. So make sure that you're wearing your sunscreen. So I use this every morning and night after cleansing my skin for the 30 days. I just sort of introduced it into my everyday skincare routine, which I'll link up here. In the morning, I would wash my skin, pop this on about two to three drops, patting it in. I would let that absorb, apply my moisturizer, and then follow with sunscreen as a last step. At night, I would cleanse, apply this, and then put on my rosehip seed oil. I'll sort of show you clips that I took during these 30 days. One of the first things I noticed was that this product smelt and felt very similar to the Ordinary's Niacinamide and Zinc Serum. It's not a bad smell, it's just a very sort of distinct smell to me. And I did feel that it was a little bit tacky as soon as I applied it, but that did go away as it absorbed into the skin, which was quite quick.
I'd say around day 10, I started noticing my skin breaking out and that sort of occurred pretty much until the end. There's no real evidence for why I would be breaking out. Perhaps the sort of filler ingredients or the preservatives were irritating my skin a little bit. Since I've stopped using this, twice a day for 30 days. I've introduced it maybe a couple times a week. I haven't noticed my skin breaking out, so I think that I was just using it a bit too much for my very sensitive skin. As you can see now, I don't really have any breakouts and I've used this maybe three times this week. So keep that in mind if you are like me and have very sensitive skin. I mean, this happens to me pretty much whenever I try a new product. My skin just does not like change, but I do like to do these videos for you guys to show how these products work on extremely sensitive skin. My final thoughts on this product, and I will show you a before and after here. Whilst this did seem to correlate with my skin breaking out and looking a little bit more congested, particularly around the chin area, I do think that my skin felt and looked healthier overall by the end. And I do think that it had an effect on lightening that hyperpigmentation that I have, especially on my cheeks. And because I am a scientist, I looked up peer-reviewed articles on the efficacy of alpha arbutin, and it is shown to be most effective if you use this when that melanin is produced. I think that I will continue to use this, and I'm almost finished, so I think I might repurchase it, because I do like the way that it makes my skin look quite healthy and radiant, but I'm definitely not gonna use it every single day, twice a day. That's all for my review of this alpha arbutin and HA product from The Ordinary. Let me know if you have any requests of products you would like me to review or talk about and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!